Hey guys, Salonius here. Welcome to another video on FIFA. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the SBCs that are out at the moment, pinpointing a few that I think are must do, that I think are very good value and that you definitely should be investing in right now. And then, of course, pointing out some of the ones that I think are absolute trash and you should stay well away from. I haven't done one of these in a while, but there are some very good SBCs. And with Team of the Season rewards in foot champs, lots of untradeable rewards you are going to have a lot that you should be able to put towards these SBCs. so i'm going to be talking about that in this video so we are starting off on the first page vincenzo griffo when it comes to SBCs, i'm not going to spend long talking about this but you need to consider a few things how good is the card how expensive is the card and how long will it last in your team so this griffo card 4-4 very good very well rounded can play a variety of positions he's good but how are you fitting him in your team you probably not how expensive is this sbc i'll probably give them all like a rating out of 10 he's 55k i'll probably say he's like an 8 out of 10 <coughs> it's very good value for what the card is he could even be a very good super sub <coughs> the problem is though how are you fitting that card in your team Guerrero, this one's been out a while 160k now, I think genuinely part of his price tag is because of his link to um, Jude Bellingham. The fact he can play centre mid two, 4-4, four, four, he is actually pretty good value, I think, when you consider the Bellingham link and the fact he can play centre mid. However, if you have Bellingham, you are probably getting a better player than him. So the fact he costs like triple the price of that Griffo, I'm putting him at like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. He's better than this guy, but... How are, you link, how are you linking him in other than Bellingham? And if you've got Bellingham, you're probably getting better. Rafinha. 370k. So this Rafinha card is good. And if you put a dead eye on him, he becomes very good. But he's a 4-star, four 4-star. Four he's nearly 400k. That is like a 5 out of 10 at this point for me. At this point in the game, to be investing in attackers, they have to be something insane or have 5 stars. And for me, the thing is, a lot of these cards... They are very cheap, like 400k. They're a lot cheaper than that when you consider all the untradables we have. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is because you're going to have so many untradables from rewards. You're going to want to start investing in cards because you're going to have to put your untradables towards them. That Marlon, pointless for not looking at him. Are you sick of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want more coins to build that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out utnice.com, the best place to buy coins for FIFA 23. They're simple, easy to use. Use code ZEL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out utnice.com today. Prime Ronaldinho. Like if we just look at Dinho, incredible card. Five star, four star. He has his own animations. With a Hawk, that card's insane. This Dinho would be incredible. And then you see this. <coughs> four, six, eight, ten. And we're, we're on only on 10 out of 23 SBCs. It's an 8 9 rate squad. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. And there's four of these that are 91 plus. A load of 90s. This SBC costs over 4 million coins. And there's 23 to do. Is Prime Ronaldinho a very good card? Clearly, yes. On the market right now, Dino's going for 4.1 mil. So the SBC is about the same price. Sure, you will be able to do this SBC a lot cheaper if you've got a lot of untradables. But do you want to basically commit everything you've got untradable to this card? For me, no. If this SBC had been like 2.5-3 mil, taking like the last five squads or something, I'd have thought that's decent for me. Eh? A lot cheaper than the tradable, and it gives people a chance to earn a prime run on Dino. However... I mean, it's honestly a bit of a disgrace how expensive this card is. If it was a five-star, five-star DDR, okay, but like, I just don't think you can justify an SBC being that long and that expensive, unless it's like the best card in the game, which isn't. Puskas, on the other hand, is very good value for me. So that DNU SBC is like a two, three out of ten for me. Puskas. The thing is as well, some people might say, oh, Zell, you're just being uh, bitter or not bitter. You're being pessimistic, that might be a good word. It, uh, that Dino is amazing here, giving chance to people to get him. It's nearly June at the end of the day. Puskas. 
Is he as good as Dino? Honestly, it's a pretty comparable card. I would prefer Dino with the skills, but this guy's got five-star weak foot. This Puskas, though, is a quarter of the price. That is very nice. A quarter of the price. 10 SBCs. I'm going to put this Puskas at a 9 out of 10. <coughs> Unless you've got an absolutely outrageous attack, this Puskas is one of the top-tier attackers. He is borderline S-tier. He's easy to fit in the team, being an icon. It's a top-tier card. You are going to be able to do this card very cheap with untradeables. I really like that one and think that is a very good SBC. Alejandro Romero. If it's just a random card, we're not going to take too much time. 35k. It's a good card, but you're not really linking him in. This is an SBC that I actually think is very good. I will. Be, I've already done this once. The problem with this is, obviously, you're very unlikely to get a top-tier card. I've done it and got um, Prime Bastion Schweinsteiger. But the fact it's got Foot Birthday, Trophy Titans, Team of the Years, it's a good SBC. How much is it costing at the moment? Where is it? I'm trying to find it on here. 90 plus. It's 200k. You can basically do this for free with most sets of Week and League rewards. It's a risk, but considering <coughs> you're very likely to get a good card, and these cards are all fit into your team easy, you don't have to change your team around too much. I think they're definitely worth the punt with all the untradeables. And this is like an 8, 9 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, you're most likely not getting a top tier card. But the chance for 200k, basically free with the untradeables, I like that. I think that's pretty good. And then we look at the rest of the SBCs, and I don't think there's a lot more. I mean, like these kits, that's quite a nice kit, but kits don't really matter. That appender's pointless. Drug burst, still pretty decent. Vidic, it should have been his team of the year. Zambrotta, honestly, still a pretty good card. I guess a lot of these cards, though, at this point, the problem with them is that they are probably a little bit outdated by the team of the season cards that are coming out. So when I go through, we'll just see if there's any others, but I don't think there really is much else to be too excited for. Didn't realise Rivaldo still out. He's actually a pretty good SBC. Um, Perez was decent. That Marquisio ain't bad. Raul's good. I'm not going to spend ages on these because I don't think they're that special. But for me, at this point, the SBCs that I would say are really worth doing would be probably Puskas and the 90 plus icon. Puskas, if you already have very good attackers, I wouldn't do him. This one you wouldn't do if you have a very like end game team for the most part already. But for the majority of users, I think this 90 plus icon upgrade is pretty much a must do. It's a free swing for the most part within tradables that we're going to have. A top tier card. The Dino is one of the worst SBCs I've ever seen, I believe. I just don't think SBCs should ever be costing that much. Some of these, they're okay. Keep your eye out though for more SBCs coming. <coughs> I tend to find most of these team of the season ones, they don't tend to be like top tier cards. They tend to be okay priced, but not anything to be too excited for. Appreciate you guys watching this video. If you want to see my thoughts on the recent La Liga team season, go check out my latest tier list video. Appreciate you guys. Keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.